day would come where your girl makes an entire video on the Lorette. But to be honest, I turned on my mic today and thought it would be great if we both went on a journey together to witness the downfall of Lorette's career. All right, y'all, let's get started. I'm pretty sure the majority of you guys watching actually recognize Lorette, aka Larry from TikTok. But you guys, Lorette has been on the internet for a hot minute, and it's very rare to see people nowadays recognize him as a YouTuber and not a TikToker. Lorette started his YouTube channel way back in 2011 after the Vine app got deleted. And well, ever since he switched to YouTube, he continued making more skits and funny videos that really made him go viral. For example, his song First Place gained over 50 million views as it became a huge meme on social media. And guys, Ray even started doing send this to your crush without context videos that really made him get recognized everywhere, even in real life. Besides this, you guys, Lorray also used to include his Viner and YouTuber friend Isa, AKA Twames, in his videos. And when I tell you Isa really changed Lorray's life, I seriously mean it. Because according to Lorray, he used to suffer from a very abusive relationship in the past. But with the help of his friend Isa, they both decided to move out and live together. And that's what made their friendship grow even more and become best friends. Yep, Lorray was one of the few in influencers who made a decision to move to LA to focus more on his career. But don't worry, he actually moved out with his best friend Isa as well so that they both can be together and do more funny videos as usual. Although Lorray did meet many new friends once he moved to LA and surprisingly, that didn't really affect Lorray's personality and relationship with his fans as people still found him entertaining as hell. Ugh. From where do I even start, y'all? Unfortunately, Lorray was also one of the few influencers who met James Charles once they moved to LA. And I can confirm myself that meeting him was a really bad idea because not only James had a very strong influence on Lorray, but they both decided to start their new TikTok accounts after they witnessed how it was blowing up on social media. And yeah, things went downhill for that moment. As much as Lorray gained more publicity by making TikTok videos and being friends with James, it also started affecting his relationship with his best friend Isa, to the point where Isa made a decision to stop making YouTube videos and move out from LA, you guys. This low-key started many rumors on social media as to why Isa stopped hanging out with Lorray. But it turned out later on that Isa wanted to focus on his mental health more, and he's still, in fact, best friends with Lorray. Of course, when Lorray took his own original and funny content to TikTok, a lot of TikTokers got very impressed by Lorray's funny and entertaining personality. And from the moment right there, Lorray started meeting many TikTokers to make collaboration videos, including Avani, Addison Rae, and even Charlie D'Amelio. All these collaboration videos together made Lorray himself forget about his own house and visit the Hype House every single day. And y'all, this situation actually forced Lorray to officially become a member of the Hype House, since he thought it would be cool if he created content with many creators in the Hype House just to gain more followers and views. Despite how Lorray became a huge social media star after joining TikTok, some of his OG fans started accusing Lorray of being white washed. And that is because of him hanging out with many white TikTokers since not only did his funny personality shift completely, but he even stopped posting many content on YouTube like he normally used to do. This situation disappointed many of his old fans to the point where people started making petitions to stop Lorray from hanging out with white people. And guys, even Lorray himself addressed the situation on social media later by saying this. But be like, you changed. Nah, I was depressed. I'm so tired of being broken down every time one of these videos come across my FYP. I'm so sorry for growing up. I personally don't think I changed. My sense of humor is still the same. The only thing that has changed in my life is that I'm no longer locked in my room depressed and I've made friends. As many people were already hating on Lorray for hanging out with TikTokers, he also received tons of hate, you guys, when he became very close friends with the Lopez brothers. Since, as you guys know, both Tony and Andreas Lopez got exposed for their predatory behavior during that time, which made many people warn Lorray to stop hanging out with them immediately. This made Lorray himself 
end his friendship with the Lopez brothers. And guys, he even unfollowed them on social media as well, which made both Tony and Andreas move out of the hype house. As the hate towards Leray started getting bigger and bigger, you guys, a lot of people thought it would be cool if they canceled him by digging up some of his old tweets. And unfortunately, people found some very insensitive tweets from Leray in the past as he made a joke about and y'all, he even got exposed for being transphobic as well. After he said the T-slur in one of his old tweets, just came out of the mall and T-guy at Hot Topic, my dad is a but I still love him, I guess. Even though those old tweets made Leray apologize to his fans multiple times for offending them, people kept throwing tons of hate at him for being transphobic and insensitive, you guys. One of the most successful yet unsuccessful moments of Leray's career was when he made a diss track called Cancelled on many of his TikTok friends and YouTubers. And y'all, his diss track literally made history in the Billboard Hot 100 as he became the first ever influencer to chart at number 81 with his diss track. But as millions of people supported Lorraine's diss track, some people somehow started realizing day after day how Lorraine actually made a very insensitive joke about Tony Lopez, since he jokingly made a comment about Tony's victims by saying, Tony got a case. This ain't a race, Tony Lopez caught a case. After this situation all went down months ago, this week, you guys, Lorraine left many of his fans shocked as his diss track video got removed off of YouTube all of a sudden. And y'all, this situation started many assumptions and rumors that made Leray himself go on TikTok later on and confirm that he found out which creator took down his song. I'm pretty sure you guys have seen in my recent video on the Hype House, but if you haven't, make sure to check it out because your girl spilled a lot of tea on Leray and the Hype House. But as some of y'all know, the Hype House members recently got dragged on social media after they announced their new Netflix reality show that will be coming out soon. Even though Nikita Dragon was the most influencer who received a lot of hate for it, Leray also got roasted on Twitter as well for still hanging out with a bunch of racist and homophobic people. Even some of his fans noticed how his content changed as well, as he stopped posting regularly on YouTube and focused more on making TikTok videos instead. Here's what people had to say about Leray. Larry was better before those paper people whitewashed him. Leray was so much better on YouTube when he wasn't hanging out with TikTokers, pedos, and racists and was actually entertaining. Leray became rapidly unfunny when he started hanging out with TikTok. Anyways, loves, what's your opinion on the hate towards Lorraine's personality at the moment? Do you think his personality completely changed after hanging out with TikTokers? Make sure to leave all your thoughts and opinions on Lorraine down in the comments below. I love you so much.